In order to get mods on your Eternals server, the first thing you want to do is you want to log into Eternals and then go ahead and make sure to load into the dashboard of the server that you want to add mods to. The first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over here underneath where it says software and we're going to switch it from vanilla by pressing on this green button that says change and you want to go ahead and find a forge right over here because we need to go ahead and get forge in order to get mods on our server. So go ahead and just press on forge. From here, you want to go ahead and select on the version of Forge that you want to use for your server. So for my server, I'm going to be using Minecraft 1.21. So all you want to do is just select on that and then go ahead and press on reinstall and then go ahead and just press on yes, reinstall. Now, if you never downloaded Forge on Eternals, then you will not get the option that says reinstall. You should get something that says download, but it will still work regardless. So. Once you got this check mark done, the next thing you want to do is you want to go over here to where it says mods and then it will give you a list of all of the different mods that you guys could use on your Eternal server. So let's go ahead and use the journey map right over here. So all you want to do is just select on the mod that you want to use. And from here, go ahead and locate the version of the mod that you want to use. So obviously we're going to go ahead and use it for Minecraft 1.21. So let's go ahead and find it real quick. All right, so I'm going to be downloading the most recent version right over here. So all you want to do is just press on this button and then it will begin to download the journey map. All right, and once you're done with that, go over here to the left side and go and press on options. Then from here, you want to make sure that this toggle is turned on where it says crack. Make sure that this is turned on. Otherwise, this entire process will not work. So make sure that crack is turned on. The next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and install Forge for Minecraft. So remember, we're doing this on Minecraft 1.21. So we need to go ahead and download Forge for Minecraft 1.21. So all you want to do is go to any web browser and look up Forge download. Then select on this website right over here. And then go ahead and locate the Forge download for the version that you want. So let's go ahead and get it for Minecraft 1.21. All you want to do is select on installer. And then it should take you to a page that looks something like this. Make sure to not press anything. All you want to do is just wait around five seconds. And then in the top right, you should see a button that says skip. So go ahead and press on that and then it will install Forge right over here. So for clarity purposes, I'm going to go ahead and drag it out to my desktop just so you guys are able to see things a bit easier. However, if you do not see it pop up over there, then it will automatically be in your files folder. Anyways, guys, what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and go to your Forge installer file that you did just download. Then you want to right click on it and then press on open with. Now, if your device already has Minecraft Java Edition, then you should see the option right over here that says Java. However, if you do not see that option, that is perfectly okay because all that means is that you need to download Java. In order to download Java, all you want to do is go to any web browser and then just look up Java download, then go and select on this website that says Oracle. Now, you want to make sure that you have Java 21 because that is the most recent version and that is the version you need in order to run mods and stuff like that. So, all you want to do is go ahead ahead and select on JDK21. From here, you can pick whether you're on Linux, Mac iOS, or on Windows. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to go select on Windows. And from here, what you want to do is you want to install the x64 installer right over here. So once you installed Java, then you should be able to open up that file. So once you got Java, you should get the option to open with Java. So all you want to do is just press on that. And then if we did everything correctly, it should pop up this menu right over here. So all you want to do is press on OK. And then it will install Forge for Minecraft. And then this screen should appear. Go ahead and press on OK once again. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to install the mod to our device. So before we uploaded it to the server, now we need to go ahead and actually get the mod on our device. So all we need to do is go ahead and look up Forge mods right over here. And then you want to go to this website that says Curse Forge. Then make sure you're underneath here where it says mods. And for filters, you want to go ahead and you select on Forge. Then for game versions, you want to make sure you select on the version that you're doing for this whole video. So remember, we're doing this for Minecraft 1.21. So I'm going to be selecting Minecraft 1.21. But obviously, if you're doing a different version, then make sure you select on that version that you're trying to get mods in. Anyways, guys, now that you're over here, all you want to do is go to the search bar and then look up the mod that you're trying to get on your Eternal server. 
All right, guys. So remember, we're trying to get journey map for Eternal. So, yep, I searched it up right over here and then it should appear right there. So all you want to do is go ahead and select over here where it says game versions and you want to locate the correct version. So obviously uh, we're doing this on 1.21. So I'm going to select on Minecraft 1.21 and then you want to make sure that you download the version for Forge. So it's right over here. It should tell you. Okay, yep, guys, you will notice that over here it will say Forge. So once you located that, you want to go ahead and just press on download file. And then it should take you to a page that looks something like this. And bam, you will notice that it will install our mod. So make sure to go ahead and just uh, allow download unverified file if you do see that option. And all you want to do is you just want to drag it to your desktop yet again. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to open up the Minecraft launcher. Once you're here in the Minecraft launcher, you will notice that it will automatically put our installation to the Forge download. However, if you do not see that, then all you want to do is you want to go over here to where it says installations and you want to make sure that this checkbox is turned on that says modded because that will allow you to see all of the modded versions of Minecraft that you do have, which we did download in this video. Anyways, guys, the next thing you want to do is you want to locate the Forge download. Then you want to go to this file icon right over here. And then it should appear this. And all you want to do is you want to look up the folder that says mods. We have our mods folder right over here. But if you don't see it, all you want to do is just create a new folder and call it mods. Make sure that it is all lowercase. But once you located your mods folder, all you want to do is you want to open it up. And then you want to drag in your mod into this folder. So we did just download the journey map. So all we're going to be doing is dragging it in right over here. And yep, you'll notice that we will have our mod right there. Then minimize this window, go back to your Minecraft launcher, select on play, and then just close it out. All right, guys, once you have everything ready, you downloaded your mods, you downloaded Java, you got the Minecraft launcher open. All you want to do is press on start and then you start your server. Go ahead and press on yes, I accept. And then wait a little bit for the server to start. All right, guys, now that your server is online, all you want to do is open up the Minecraft launcher, then load into Forge 1.21 or whatever version you downloaded Forge for. Then obviously you want to make sure that you do copy down your IP address and the port for the server in order to join it. And yep, you will notice that Forge for Minecraft is loading in right over here. It is going to download all of the different files necessary first. And once you're done with that, you will notice that yep, Forge will be loaded and we will have some mods activated. Now, in order to join your server, go ahead and just press on multiplayer, press on this checkbox that says do not show again, and then press on proceed. And from there, go ahead and add your Minecraft server. Once you're done with that, go ahead and press on done. Okay, here is our server right over here. You'll notice that it is active and online and all you want to do is just press on join. And as you can tell, boys, we are now in our server and you will notice that we will have the journey map map right over there. We can see all of the uh, nearby like pigs and stuff like that. So that is honestly pretty cool. And that does show that this actually does work. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 300,000 subscribers. See you later, French fries.